Here in the Keys, we wanted to be as active in our church as possible. They were very happy to have us and put us right to work. There are not very many members around here, so they just have a very small branch, which is very different for us to drive an hour to church both ways. You are looking at the new primary president, me, and my first counselor, Jill, and you better believe my first order of business is putting together a musical number for our first sacrament. What a typical Monday night has been looking like for us is getting tacos at one of our favorite food trucks. We love it there because there is typically live music and the food is really, really good. Then we meet up with our branch members for pickleball. This is definitely outside of my comfort zone because there's not an athletic bone in my body. However, the kids love it. They love getting together with the other youth. They love playing basketball and what feels so good to all of us is the salty evening breeze and being under the lights that perfectly illuminate the trees. We have loved building relationships with the people here. A lot of times there are new travelers that we get to meet and get to know for only a short period while others are longtime members of the Keys. One thing is for sure is we all go home exhausted. I don't think anyone minds though, especially when you have this kind of a drive. This was actually on the drive there watching the sunset. It's really cool to see the Gulf of Mexico on one side with only a bridge separating the Atlantic Ocean. Hi, Tootie. Something that I am extremely grateful for is the time that we have to take our time and really reset. Joel and the kids have been really taking advantage of the mornings by getting up and working out together. And not only can they see a difference in their bodies, but I'm definitely seeing a difference in their minds as well. My friend Kim captured this moment of the boys laying out tanning. Joel bought a bottle of tanning oil and hid it from me. He bought a bottle of tanning oil and hid it from me. It actually made me laugh, uh, but they are all working very hard on their tans and it's working. They're each looking very golden. We've also been really focusing on trying to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, making sure that we get enough protein in to help keep us fuller longer and just feeling better overall. The resort we're staying at has a lot of resources like grills for us to use and so we've also been trying to take advantage of that. Don't get me wrong, we're eating out plenty, so this is just, I guess, what, balancing us back out? I don't know. So between working out, getting plenty of vitamin D, trying to eat nutritious foods, and submerging ourselves in our church, we are really starting to feel the mental and physical load be eased, which is, I think, exactly what we've been in search for. Bosti lost a tooth, and the tooth fairy did not disappoint with her folded money bow tie. I'm not really sure what this is, but I'm just going to go ahead and let you enjoy the kids' original audio to, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't really care what they were doing because listening to them laugh and entertain themselves is pure gold in a mom's eyes. One thing for sure is that the kids are definitely entertaining themselves. They were looking so cute when I walked past and I saw them all sitting out on the dock outside. But yes, I did have to tell them that they had to turn the hose off and that they couldn't feed the manatees from the hose. It is against the law here, and so I was helping them respect that, but I was happy to see them finding adventure. On this day in particular, the kids were wanting to be entertained, and I told them that we are just going to go outside and stand by the ocean, and they were giving me a little bit of complaint until I noticed that they just started playing and having fun naturally, and then they got further and further out into the ocean ocean and they found an old rotten coconut that kept them entertained for literally hours. Did you see my video on pine berries? These things are delicious. They smell so stinking good. There's really nothing like a Saturday night date night going to the grocery store, especially when it's to Publix. We did pick up some postcards and if you have played your cards right with me, you will be needing to check your mail, okay? Just go check your mail if you know me. Aunt Linda, go check your mail. That's all I need to say. The grocery shopping did take a little bit of a wild turn. 
do you see those cats over there? And yes, I had to be a little nosy and put my camera out to show you there was like 30 cats. What the heck is going on? I have no idea, but here's for your viewing pleasure. So we were um, taking Lena on a walk and we walked by uh, the trash can. Lincoln spotted it. He, he said I it tried to bite him, but yeah. I mean, a little bite from that. I mean, look how small his head is. And I caught a baby lizard. His head is smaller than my fingernail. Tell them its oh name. Kabobski. Kabobski? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mom, and gonna be a um, the guy, oh um, he God. said it Yeah, was there was a worker that showed us, and then he showed us a video of an iguana running at the park over there. Wow. Yeah, and um, he said it's the smallest that one is, he's ever seen. Yeah, that is t I, I'm surprised you saw this. Yeah, I'm surprised we saw it. Where did you see it? Where it was, was he at? He was on the trash can. He was like on the black trash can. Trash can. So I'm surprised we even spotted it. This is a lounge room that the resort has that we have spent some evenings playing pool and watching TV. The kids have been playing so much pool and ping pong while we're here. They're just loving that. They also had the most incredible pool day. The party planning committee here did not disappoint. They brought out so many of these pool blow ups and the kids just had the time of their lives. I think they spent a solid six hours in the pool. They did games and competitions. You couldn't have asked for better weather either because the sun was out just enough to keep us nice and warm, but there was enough cloud coverage to make it pleasant for me on the sidelines. However, I was not standing on the sidelines here. I definitely am turning the volume down to the original audio because I was one proud mom, which is ridiculous, but nonetheless, I was very proud of my winning son. Besides from that one burst of energy, this is where I was planted for the majority of the day. Can you guess? Can you guess what song they are dancing to? Yeah, it's the YMCA. Joel Holeen turned 38. And you know what you do on an exciting 38th birthday? You go to the grocery store and you pick out all the things you need for a lunch and all the things you need for a birthday cake. And that is exactly what we did. We spent the afternoon having lunch and making a birthday cake. I actually feel really horrible because on this day I was not feeling well. I was not feeling well at all. So it really turned into a very low key birthday. I feel terrible to this day, but he insisted that he had a good day. It's like, what do I commentate for this? This is just something else. I don't know what it is, but it was entertaining. So I was filming it and then Boston was pretending to choke and it actually scared me. He wasn't choking, but it scared me. Happy birthday to my Joel. Thank you for bringing us to Florida, fixing everything that breaks on the RV and driving an hour to the nearest Walmart to get me sweats, even though I didn't ask you to so that I would feel more comfortable. Happy birthday, dear Joel. Make a wish. Bless you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Blow the chocolate all over. <laughs>